So I'm talking to builders and asking them, are you on the plus side or the minus side as you look at 2013, well, and why? For the first time in a long time, I'm optimistic. It's, it's been a long, hard battle for those of us in the building industry, and I, I just am highly encouraged by by so many things we see today. I'm always kind of the I'm, I'm always kind of the pessimist. If, if if things work out my way, then you know I was right, and I'm happy if things turn out better. Then we made a you little win. bit more money, and then we win. So I, I always kind of take the, the uh, I think it was what was required in this business before was a little bit of humility and the fact that a lot of things can change. That, you know, predicting housing starts kind of like predicting the weather. We don't have all the information yet for what right. happened. You know, I think you some of the guys had to remain optimistic because they had to have that fight for the last five years. But you know, it, it, it's always about that finding that right balance. And I'm very optimistic, but it's based on our last six months, last eight months of the year was the best we've had since 06. So we're seeing in uh, Southern California and in Sacramento a big uptick. Uh, uh, part of it is uh, from clearly uh, the lack of supply, but also there, there hasn't been new housing programs of any interest in three, four, five years. So I think builders who bring new product to market uh, based on consumers today, they're going to do just fine. I'm an eternal optimist, so you know I always are. I always try and look for the positives and things. Uh, that being said, our, our business in Palm Beach County has definitely improved over the last several years. So we're optimistic from a sales front. I think for us the bigger challenges are the labor and the supply side. As the market does begin to return, we're seeing uh, major stresses in availability of labor, uh, increase in materials prices that are outpacing what uh, our customers are willing to pay. So, so that's our real challenge in the short term is, is managing our way through. We've just been so blessed. We love it. The Lubbock, Texas economy is improving. Our housing market there is improving. But four years ago, we went to Midland and Odessa, which is in the oil patch. And man, the oil patch is just going bonkers. When you guys thought about 2013, did you budget in a way that assumed that you would really get growth in 2013? Yeah, we, uh, we've noticed that particularly on our market that um, inventory is really low. Uh, there's not a whole lot of homes out there right now to, to be bought. Yeah, but the, the excitement out there, the, the low interest rates, low prices, those kind of things, uh, has brought a lot of people out to the model home and, and uh, they're, they're looking for options. And so we put a lot of money in, in land and, and acquiring new subdivisions and lots and, uh, with the anticipation that you know, we're going to have a good 2013.